High school athletes today have been using and abusing drugs like weed, per se, or steroids. They it's becoming an epidemic throughout our high school and every high school, and it needs to be stopped. So we should randomly mandatory drug test high school students. Today we'll be talking about the benefits of drug testing high school athletes, the cost of it, and why student athletes should be drug tested. First, the concession statement. Many people believe that it's not ethical or legal to drug test student athletes, but in fact, in 1955, the Supreme Court passed a law that said it was legal to drug test them. And now we move on to our first point, the benefits of drug testing student athletes. Uh, the main reason is it holds the students accountable for their actions. Like if you get drug tested and you fail, you might not be able to play a sport or like have an after school activity, like if you were in a club or something. It teaches them responsibility for their actions because they understand the consequences and if they still do it, that's their own fault. And I got this from the National Center on a Disease or Addiction, sorry. And we move on to our next point. You can come with me and let's price out the cost of drug tests. According to the New York Times, it costs about $200,000 just to drug test a whole school, like for all the athletes in the school. So it costs a lot of money. And it might cause budget cuts in your school, but it's worth it because it will stop the drugs from going around your school. And we need it because you have to have a test that tests for more than just weed. You can't have a regular drug test. You have to have one that tests for like steroids and other performance enhancement drugs. Also Adderall, because students like to crush up Adderall and snort it or take it orally for focus, like for a test so they can pass the test. Got that from the New York Times. And let's go to why student athletes should be drug tested. So the parents don't have to worry if their students are getting drug tested because they would realize that if they are, they get tested and if they failed, then they would have consequences. If the child gets kicked off the team, it's their own fault like because it holds them accountable. They could be suspended from school. And I assume the students don't want to lose scholarships or get kicked out of school because that's just dumb. It's a dumb idea to go smoke weed or have fun for a few amount of minutes and then lose a scholarship to high school or college. I mean, they don't want a police record. You can get a police record for smoking weed if you get caught with it. So that's not smart either. Like I said, colleges will drop you really fast, faster than Usain Bolt can run the 100 meter dash if they get, because they don't want to deal with it either. They don't want to deal with students like that because then it looks bad on their school. And to recap, we talked about the benefits of drug testing, the cost of drug testing with student athletes, and why student athletes should be drug tested. I hope I was able to give you some insight so that you will not turn out like some students that will throw their life away just for a few good times with weed. <laughs> and it's also like a life lesson because you don't want to end up like them and lose a scholarship. Like because they have their life together and throw it all away and lose scholarships. So nobody and nobody's gonna feel bad for them because it's their own fault. So you can't really feel bad if they mess their own life up. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.